Vancouver's Public Aquarium, an old and highly respected exhibitor of killer whales. That sounds like a good plan. John Ford is a field researcher and curator of marine mammals here. Is that right? But what about I-12? Is that, it was a red herring? Yeah. That's great, did you manage to get some shots? Hayek, a six-ton male, is a beloved local character in Vancouver. Hmm. Especially since he's taken an interest yeah, well, in books. In, uh, Quite by accident, days, Ford discovered that Hayek is fascinated by pictures of killer whales. I think that he is relating to the very distinctive black and white pattern of the killer whale. If we try showing him pictures of other animals, like a dog or a cat, he's really not interested. Uh, he'll just drift away and go and do other things, but uh, if it's a killer whale, he is definitely curious about it. Vancouver Aquarium's education program allows children to sleep overnight in the company of killer whales. It's part of an effort to stimulate their interest in the environment, and in every way, it provides a great awakening. Something remarkable often happens between people and killer whales. For scientists and laymen alike, there's an exciting sense that this relationship could go far. And this feeling has been reinforced by continuing research with killer whales in the wild. 